When I was 10, my mom had just finished plaiting my hair and she said, oh, I think I'm gonna give birth. And she just lay down on the floor and gave birth, but that was number 10, so she knew how to do it. <laughs> but I was just in awe of this uh, miracle. From then on, I was set that I wanted to be a doctor. I love the promise of, you know, in Proverbs uh, 4, my son, incline your ears to my word, for it is life for those who find them, and health for their flesh. And I love that. It's free. You know, sometimes I just write it down, just like the green prescription where you say to people, go and walk, you know, every day. And I said, why don't you take this like medicine three times a day? Mark is my husband. He is a orthopedic uh, and spine surgeon. One day I was just declaring the promises of God and the word came out of my mouth. Uh, Lord, would you part the Red Sea for Mark? And I then, and that was it, and then I just continued on just giving thanks and praising him for his goodness. Half an hour later, Mark walked in the door, and the surgery would have usually taken about two hours, and he walked in the door and he sat down and he goes, I said, what are you doing here? And he said, you wouldn't believe what happened. It's as if God had parted the Red Sea and this patient was bleeding. It was like a garden hose going everywhere. And then just suddenly, everything just dried up. They couldn't find the, you know, they look in the drain, there was no blood there, and Mark thought, oh, it's, she died. And God had intervened. And so for us as medical doctors, we look in the word and read it from a doctor's perspective, and we take it as medicine and give it to people.